Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Storm Collectibles Ultra Street Fighter 2 Guile. For a place to get all your collectibles, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, I reviewed the Sagat figure yesterday, so hopefully you can uh, click through and watch that video review as well. And I did think it was pretty good, so hopefully this Guile is just as good. Get the usual box art here, love that uh, classic artwork. And uh, the moves are all on the back there with the Sonic Boom flying away, the Flash Kick and the Sonic Boom in uh, preparation, I guess. I love all those classic poses from the, from the game. Um, I do love the blogger photos that uh, pose uh, these figures up. Uh, they really do know how to pose the figures, um, so hopefully I'll be able to replicate some of that uh, for my display. But uh, also comes with the classic Airbase Jet Fighter background. I uh, love that from the game. Uh, these are a little bit small. I would have uh, preferred if they were just a little bit bigger. Um, but I guess they do fit in a DTOF pretty nicely. Um, but it uh, would be nice if uh, they also included a, a base for it as well. But uh, we'll see how I can go about using those. Um, the accessories as I was talking about. Uh, this is the flash kit one. I think there is a post there. So you can uh, use the stand and all these little pieces to have it uh, sitting up in the air as he's doing that flash kick. You do need another stand to actually hold him up in that pose, which they do not include. So I'll, if I do have that, I might uh, uh, have that on the display. Uh, I'm gonna have to use one of the older Bandai uh, figure stands, I think. Also comes with the swirling Sonic Boom sculpt. Uh, it's nice uh, softish plastic, so it's not uh, gonna risk breaking that, but just be careful on those sides. And again, there's the peg hole to just uh, have it sitting there like so and then you get these things that you can put in his fist so you just slide the fist in much like the um, dragon punch sculpt uh, for Ken um, and put these on the two hands um, have it look like that so that is a pretty nice effect uh, it comes with his comb uh, for that classic uh, winning victory pose and that's probably what I'll end up going with I think uh, they come with a couple of hands so you can have him holding it in his left hand or his right hand, um, and I'll probably have it holding in his right hand. Um, it's not uh, that great a paint app or sculpt, but uh, it does the job, I guess, uh, for, for those who love that uh, or, or know that victory pose. Uh, hand sculpts, he comes with the usual array with the standard fists, but also the um, comb holding hands, uh, the sonic boom sort of throwing hands, and these, I'm not quite sure, similar to the Sagat figure, these are uh, sort of uh, almost Kung Fu style hands. I don't even think uh, Ryu and Ken came with that sort of style, so I'm not sure why they've included them. I can't remember any moves of his that uh, use this sort of move. Uh, but uh, either way, um, they're pretty good. Uh, the favourite part uh, for this figure, uh, similar to the Sagat, are these three head sculpts. They really do, good, do, a, do a fantastic job with uh, these head sculpts, uh, Storm Collectibles. Uh, love the... Uh, paint application you can really see the make out the teeth and the the tongue inside the eyes have a nice sort of uh, sharp glossy look to them um, and the hair is uh, that perfect uh, sort of brush effect uh, from the game so I love that love the loser screen shot there same old paint application and the snarling sculpt so I'll probably have him with this sculpt on um, or actually, if he's doing the victory pro pose, um, I'm not quite sure which one he used. It's probably this face, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but uh, here is the figure. And uh, they've done a pretty good job overall. Uh, I think the color, um, I'm not sure if the color is a little bit too bright in the green, but uh, it sort of matches fairly well. Uh, the top here is probably just a shade darker than the pants, but um, for the camouflage, I don't think it... Uh, uh, matters too much. I think uh, overall it looks pretty good. I think there is a blue uh, Player 2 version that was uh, an SDCC exclusive or something like that, but um, I'm not going to bother getting that. Uh, this chain here, I think it is a metal chain apart from these dog tags, which are just uh, plastic, I think. Uh, so you just need to futz around with it and make sure that uh, fat part is on the back there. But uh, overall it looks uh, pretty good, um, sitting there fairly naturally. Um, doesn't hinder articulation or anything like that. Um, and with the articulation, you get uh, the usual uh, pretty awesome articulation with the butterfly there. The joints, I think you might be able to get the arms a little bit higher up to that uh, up to that point. 
I like the paint application on the uh, decal there for the uh, flag, although mine does have a bit of paint bleed on the, the side there, which I can't sort of rub off. Uh, so that's a shame, uh, but uh, I'll see if I can get it like a magic eraser or something and rub that off without getting rid of the, the skin. Uh, the torso wise, uh, it comes with that top joint, which uh, does have a pretty good range of motion, I think. Uh, it does tend to bunch up at the back here. Um, the Sagat one didn't seem to do that too much, but because this piece is a, a bit harder, uh, that's like a quite a solid piece. It tends to bunch up here, so you just need to make sure when you get it back, it sort of goes over that lip like so. Um, so you can sort of get him back doing a, a bit of a prep for the sonic boom, but uh, it starts to show a bit of gappage there, which is a shame. Um, but uh, I can't remember the Sagat figure showing so much gappage. Um, so it's a shame they couldn't uh, do that a little bit better on this figure. But um, you can get him into some pretty decent poses. There's also the waist swivel. The waist does look a little bit uh, funny. I'm not sure if, if I just bring out the uh, original box art. Well, I guess you can see it on there as well. I was just uh, thinking that uh, this sort of weird thing around his belly button makes him look like a, he's got a beer gut. As opposed to a, a six pack. I think the um, if I just get the Saget figure um, right here. You know, compare the musculature to... Uh, on this figure here, you can sort of make out all the, the six pack and you know, here's a meant to be a mountain of muscle uh, But this one almost makes him look a little bit fat to be honest. Um, I guess it's not as uh, Fat looking as the uh, Ryu and Ken figure on their their gi uh, But uh, would have been a bit nice if that was maybe a bit lower or something to hide that seam or that crease uh, That makes him look like he's got a bit of a beer belly but uh, other than that, the sculpt is uh, pretty good. Uh, but that uh, that thing that punches up there is a bit annoying. Um, legs, uh, lots of articulation in there, which uh, you'll probably need if you want to get him into whatever that uh, classic um, flash kick pose or something like that, hanging upside down. So uh, we'll see how you can uh, get it into some de decent poses or something like that. Um, so there's no real hindrance in the articulation there and you get the usual double jointed knees it only goes up to I don't know maybe just over 90 degrees there and uh, you do get quite a bit of motion in the ankles as you would expect which I also noticed on the Sagat figure in my Sagat review I said that these ankles couldn't uh, go past uh, the point there but uh, I noticed that if you just put a little bit more uh, how did I do it um, I did it on this foot I think you can adjust it somehow to get well, now I can't do it on camera which is <laughs> freaking annoying I did manage to somehow get this foot uh, pointed a bit further down to make it uh, look a bit better when you do the in-flight poses or jumping in the air poses so you can get it more realistically facing down like that so at least it's easier to do on this guy I'll figure um, but that's pretty much it really um, overall I think he scales pretty well with um, everyone, if I just get him standing up uh, a little bit straight there, I'll get Ryu here. And I think um, even though Ryu's in a bit of a crouching pose there, um, he is, guy is meant to be slightly taller. Um, he probably is a little bit too tall, um, but I guess I have him in a bit of a crouching pose. So um, maybe they've made him a little bit too tall. Um, I haven't gone back to the original specs on how tall the character is meant to be, but um, I think in the scheme of things, they do scale pretty well together. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you're a Street Fighter 2 fan, I definitely recommend these. Um, I think they're uh, a big improvement over the uh, old NECA figures I had, um, particularly with the accessories and the paint application. So um, if you're a Street Fighter 2 fan, definitely try and pick these up uh, when you can. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you can give the video a quick like and subscribe to the channel. I do have the GX88 um, Die Rugger figure to, to review coming up next. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.